Hi everyone, welcome. In today's video, I'll be doing an in-depth tutorial on how I do characters and shading. I've done a few other character sets. They're up on my channel now if you'd want to go check them out. I'll link those down below. I mostly use these Beatles nail art brushes. I got them from Amazon for only $10. And the first step is to pick a reference photo. The reference photo is so important and it really plays a huge role in the final result. Picking one that's clear and easy to break down visually is key. And I'm not a professional, so these tips are entirely my own. This is just my process. I got a request to do an in-depth video on how I create these characters and do shading, so yeah. I start with getting down the basic shapes, so for this example, I'm doing the other mother from Coraline. I'm starting with the shape of the head. And I mostly use Beetle's gel polish from Amazon as well. I personally like the quality, but I absolutely love working with gel. I wouldn't be able to create any of the art that I do if it wasn't for this gel. I work in many, many layers, curing as I go. So these beginning stages are really just meant to serve as a rough outline. It's kind of our crutch to help us later refine those details. As you can see, I'm very loosely getting down the proportions, and from there I adjust. I realized with how I had it proportioned, the forehead was way too small, so I went back and added some more color to expand that. And I start adding in some other elements, such as her hair and her sweater. My method is a little unconventional, it certainly isn't perfect from beginning to end, but I think there's a lot of value in that. People can get discouraged really easily if in the beginning you can't get it perfect or your outline maybe isn't perfect, but with working with gel, it doesn't matter. You can adjust and adjust and adjust until you get it right. Adding in some more of her features to solidify them a bit more, we're still in the very early stages, and I'm starting to add some shading. I like these nail art brushes, but they aren't the absolute thinnest in the world, so, you know, you don't need the best supplies, you can work with what you've got. If your brush isn't thin enough to paint the super tiny lines that you need it to, then paint it as thin as you can and go back with your background colors and shave it down. When doing shading, I like to mix the gel with a clear base coat. This helps to shear it out, which in turn helps to prevent harsh lines and just helps with the blend. And as you can see with our skin tone color, I'm going in and shaving down some of those features that were too bulky. And your outline doesn't need to be perfect for you to get the result that you want. That's what I truly love about this method. When I've tried watching some tutorials in the past as someone trying to learn, it can be really discouraging when the tutorial is just basically you need to be perfect in every step of the way. From the outline to the filling in of the colors and the shading. And if you can do that, that's freaking amazing. <laughs> but I can't do that. And it just wasn't helpful to me. And it made me feel like if I'm not getting it right on step one, then it's not going to end up right. And that's just not the case. In areas where there's a slight shadow or color change, I like to mix those tones with a clear, and it just helps it look very seamless and blended.
For the super tiny details, like I said earlier, you don't have to have the world's tiniest brush, try to make do with what you have, and you want to work smarter, not harder. For example, the holes in the button eyes. I knew it would be a struggle trying to paint the perfect little C curve in those tiny button eyes, so instead, with a dotting tool, I made four light gray dots, and then with some black, I did four more just ever so slightly above, leaving a small sliver of the gray behind. This helps to create the illusion of detail. That's really what you're going for is the illusion, rather than actually sitting there and painting in every tiny, tiny detail. Applying a base coat in between layers can also help. It just helps to smooth everything back down and it can allow for more smaller details to be done easier. When you work in as many layers as this, it can really just make the surface super uneven. But be careful with this because for example, if I wasn't finished with the shading of the face, adding in more color to a specific area, it won't blend at all. <laughs> Unless you're going over the entire thing again, um, yeah, just be careful with this. Don't do this if you're not done for the most part with that layer or your blending. So this step is really only good for doing small details or working over some other sections, if that makes sense. Doing some highlights for her hair. Again, I'm going in heavily with our line work, but then thinning it down with our black color just to help create that illusion. That's what we're going for. And again, I am not a professional. I'm entirely self-taught. And this is just my method of what helps me. I figured this might be helpful to a lot of people as well. I know how discouraging it can be when all you can see from start to finish is perfection. So unless you're perfect at it right off the bat, it won't turn out good. Or at least that's the feeling that you get when you're trying to learn and that's all you see. I'm here to show you that that's not the case. Every single one of my character paintings look pretty jacked in the beginning. I know this. But honestly, that's just what works for me. It takes the pressure off of myself knowing that it's not going to be good and having that faith in myself that, you know what, you've got this. You can adjust and fix things and work at it and it will turn into what you want it to. And I hope this helps a lot of you guys have that faith and trust in yourself as well. Trust the process and with practice, you'll be creating some amazing nail art that you're really, really proud of. And here's the final reveal. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and encouraging. Try to not be so hard on yourself and don't give up. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!